Augustin Martin de Labarme was a French cavalry officer who served in Europe during the Seven Years' War and in the United States during the American Revolution. His attempt to capture Fort Detroit in 1780 ended in defeat when he was ambushed by forces under Chief Little Turtle. Seven Years' War Augustin Martin was born 28 August 1733, in the French Alps near Saint Antoine, the son of a tanner. He served as a trooper in the distinguished Scottish Company of the Gendarmerie de France during the Seven Years' War. He was one of the French cavalry officers who survived the crushing defeat at the Battle of Minden. Following the war, Augustin studied horsemanship, eventually becoming master at the Gendarmerie's riding school in La Neville. Mottin was promoted to Fourier Major in 1766 and retired with a pension in 1773. Using the assumed name, Mottin de la Barme, he wrote a book on horsemanship in 1773 titled Essay sur l'équitation au principes raisonnés sur la de Monterey de Dresse les Chevaux. He followed with a book on cavalry tactics in 1776. American Revolution Augustin de la Barme left for the United States to assist in the American Revolution. In 1777, he was appointed as the Colonial Army's Inspector General of Cavalry. Upon learning that Casimir Pulaski would be in command of the United States Cavalry, La Balm resigned in October 1777 and 1780, allegedly under secret orders from General Washington, but as likely acting on his own, he traveled down the Ohio River to Kaskaskia. The successor General Clark's capture of Fort Sackville at Vincennes inspired La Balm to attempt a similar feat against the British at Fort. Detroit. La Balm arrived in Kaskaskia as a French officer and was greeted as Massire by the local Canadians' residents, who had been living under British rule for over a decade. He gathered a list of grievances from residents living under the rule of the Virginians, which was to be delivered to the French ambassador at Fort Pitt. La Balm coordinated a diversionary attack against Fort Saint. Joseph then began his journey to Detroit, recruiting militia from among the Canadian citizens of Kaskaskia, Cahokia, and Vincennes. At Vincennes, he started up the Wabash River with the expectation of adding to his force from the Canadian villages of Weirtenen and Kekyonga. La Balm apparently expected Canadian residents at Fort Detroit to join him as well. Once they arrived, the expedition marched under a French flag. La Balm's force had little opposition until reaching Kekyonga, where La Balm had planned to arrest Charles Bobian, the British agent. Bobian and many of the Miami were not there, however, so the force raised the French flag and raided British stores for over three days while awaiting reinforcements that never arrived. Upon learning of the return of a Miami hunting party to Kekyonga, La Balm departed to raid another trading post on the Eel River, leaving some 20 men to guard the captured stores at Kekyonga. His force marched out over the Eel River Trail. The Miami Indians, learning of the intrusion, destroyed the small group of men left at Kekyonga. Chief Little Turtle, who lived in a village along the Eel River, gathered available warriors and attacked La Balm before he reached the Eel River trading post. La Balm and his men fortified themselves on the banks of the river. There remains some confusion as to the length of the battle. Accounts of the siege vary from several days to several weeks. They were eventually defeated by an overwhelming force, and only a few survivors managed to escape. Augustin de La Balm died in the battle, which became known as La Balm's defeat. Aftermath for his leadership in this battle, Little Turtle gained a reputation that initiated a successful career as a war chief. Although La Balm's expedition resulted in failure, it did cause the British considerable concern. Major de Paster subsequently deployed a detachment of British rangers to protect Kekyonga. Fort Detroit would remain under British control until the Jay Treaty was ratified in 1796. 
In a log entry dated 13 November, Major Arne D. Pister, in command of the British garrison at Detroit, recorded, A detachment of Canadians from the Illinois and post Vincennes arrived Kekyong about ten days ago, and entered the village, took the horses, destroyed the horned cattle and plundered a store I allowed to be kept there for the convenience of the Indians. Soon after assembled and attacked the Canadians, led by a French colonel, the Miami resisting the fire of the enemy, had five of their party killed, being, however, more resolute than savages are in general, they beat off the enemy, killed thirty and took Laban the prisoner with his papers. I expect the colonel in every hour, the Spanish governor at St. Louis, Francisco Cruz 8, wrote. I am very sorry for what has happened to Monsieur Labama. He, having, perhaps, attempted with imprudence an undertaking which needed more time, more strength and better circumstances. Memorials In northeast Indiana, near the Allen, Whitley County line, along the Eel River, a brass and stone marker placed by the Daughters of the American Revolution in 1930, reads, in memory of Carl, Augustin de la Balm and his soldiers who were killed in battle with the Miami Indians under Little Turtle at this place, November 5, 1780, the 5th of November 2005, the Indiana Society Sons of the American Revolution erected a bronze marker and commemorated the event's 225th anniversary. The ceremony involved descendants of Revolutionary War soldiers and Miami Indians. The 6th of November 2010, the Indiana Society Sons of the American Revolution erected a bronze historical marker commemorating the event.